All right, today we're going to be writing one measure of music for every JTOH tower. Actually, just kidding. It's not every JTOH tower. That would take forever. I don't know how well this is going to go because usually I'm not, you know, recording voice commentary explanations for what I'm composing. But as you can see, this is going to be for a brass quintet since I don't making this for like entire wind band or orchestra. This isn't. We're. I think we're. We're def. We're definitely going to start with the Ring 1 towers in difficulty order, so we're going to start with Toast. And you'll notice we're starting out in, like, the easiest key. I mean, it's not C major, but, like, it's B flat, which is, like, in this case, better than C major. There, you can start out with a whole note. Oh, and the tempo here is 120, by the way. That's just, like, the default tempo, but I guess I'll type that. Uh, the reason we're making this whole note, I guess I can explain that, is that it's Toast. It's the easiest tower in the game, so, like, it should be super easy. For Tower of Anger, we can make things a little bit more interesting with like changing notes or something so we were we we're doing whole notes on toast half notes on tower of anger we'll do quarter notes on tower of madness okay these easy towers are getting boring just cut to what i'm doing a harder tower okay now this isn't gonna only be based on the difficulties we're currently on tower of keyboard yeeting so keyboard let's think about this it could mean a piano keyboard and if you yeeted your piano then it would probably not make a very nice sound so we're currently on concert F here. Let's just uh make that a minor second. And let's make that another minor second. Let's add a fermata on this note, which is gonna make it last twice as long the way Muse Score 4 does fermatas. So that means we're gonna have to put another tempo marking that's like twice the tempo for like how long I want the fermata held. Then I want to increase the tempo from what it was at the start for Tower of Stress, because you know it's stressful. Let's go to 145. And you know what, for this measure, we can go into a minor key. Well, actually, if it's just one measure, then we should probably just do that with accidentals. So it's currently in B-flat major, so we could just do B-flat minor. That sounds kind of cool. If we have the parallel minor and relative minor going on at the same time. I don't feel like explaining what that means. Uh, but if you do know what that means, don't get confused by the fact that these are different instruments transposed differently. That's why there's different key signatures, so that's why. And let's do that for Tower of Screen Punching. It, like, resolves to the major chord. I guess that's a resolution, I don't know. But then we have this dissonant thing, because you break your screen, or I guess punch it. Okay, I don't know how well Muse Score is going to actually do this, but what if we do, like, a forte piano here on the second trumpet, or first trumpet, you'll see why it's a lower note in a second. We're going to make it crescendo, back to fortissimo, then we make it, like, flutter tongue. Let's see if this sounds how I want it to. Good enough. Tower of Impossible Expectations. Oh, here's an impossible expectation. Hold on, first let's resolve this so it sounds nice. Let's just do that. It's not even gonna play the note though. What's the highest note it lets you? It would appear it's that note. I wish it was like Muse Score 3 where it would like actually play the note until it's like unreasonably high. Well, why didn't- why isn't it not doing anything? Alright, it doesn't like that either. Looks like we're doing that note. Actually, what if we do a key change next? Since it's like C, that's concert C, we could change the key to concert C. Yeah, you know what you need true skill to play? Spammed 16th notes with all the same fingerings. Ha ha. Yeah, these are all gonna be on trumpet, probably. All these impossible things. Because that's, that's the instrument I play, so. On second trumpet, we can just do, like, a chromatic run. Hold on, okay, I was gonna put some things in this measure, but it's Thanos Towers next. And I guess Thanos, uh, Thanos snapped all the notes away. Except for this dynamic marking, so it actually plays the crescendo. Also, you know what would make this even more difficult? Ha 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 ha. If you don't understand that, um, that's because you don't play trumpet or other- or another brass instrument, and, uh, you should. <laughs> Alright, how about for Citadel of Laptop Splitting, since it's a Citadel, therefore it's the longest tower in the ring. Let's just randomly make it so that's like, really slow and lyrical here. Okay, so I'm almost done with this measure, but what's next is we're gonna go to Zone 1 Towers, and we're gonna do all those. So the easiest tower in Zone 1 is Tower of Zero Disturbances, that's the wrong button. I feel like it would make sense if we just continue this nice lyrical section of this, because there are zero disturbances. At least for that one measure. Okay, so the next several towers actually I continued this lyrical section. You know, we have Tower of Peaceful Happiness and Tranquility, Tower of Atlantic Depths, Tower of Peace. How could I not do that? But that changes after this fermata, where we get to Tower of Hand Sweating. So we're gonna do like a trumpet solo, I guess, because you're probably gonna be sweating, or at least nervous for a solo. We're gonna go back to this faster tempo from before. Let's lead into a key change in the next measure, which is good, because the next one's gonna be Tower of Mirrored Heck. Uh, I could make, like, an inverse, like, melody, like, instead of it going down, it goes up, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm just literally gonna copy-paste the whole tower. 
Alright, I finished it now. So I added the things for the rest of the Zone 1 towers. And I also added these little descriptions as to how the measure relates to the tower for all of these. So now I'll let you hear the entire thing. Thank you. 